Greetings everyone and happy International Youth Day. My name is Jayatma Vikramanayaka and it is a privilege to speak to you all today as the United Nations Secretary General's Envoy on Youth. It is my honor to be joining young people all over the world in marking this important day again this year. As we approach the midpoint of the 2030 Agenda, the promise of our common future is in deep peril. For the first time in decades, development progress is reversing under the combined impacts of climate disasters, conflict, economic downturn and lingering COVID-19 effects. Unless we take urgent action now, the 2030 Agenda will become nothing more than a vision for a world that might have been. We need bold, disruptive steps forward, not incremental ones. And we know that these transformative changes will simply not be possible at scale required without the buy-in and contributions of a wide range of actors. Young people know this better than perhaps anyone else. As current and future custodians of our planet, young people stand to lose the most if societies become more insecure and unequal, and if the triple planetary crisis continues unabated. Amidst the multifaceted crises facing our world, it is the world's 1.9 billion young people, time and time again, at the forefront of identifying innovative solutions that will secure the breakthroughs that our world urgently needs. That is why, throughout the month of August this year, I have turned over all of my office's digital channels to inspiring young people for a first-of-its-kind month-long takeover. In their communities and around the world, young people have become a driving force for societal change through social mobilization, pushing for climate action, seeking racial justice, promoting gender equality and demanding dignity for all. This is our chance to spotlight and elevate these stories celebrating the diversity of ways youth lead as positive agents of change. From their unwavering optimism, to their innovative solutions, to their demonstrated perseverance in the face of adversity, young people remind us that there is still time to get the world back on track to achieve the SDGs. This is exactly the type of reminder our world needs most right now. And it is perhaps the voices and contributions of those young people who are most often left furthest behind that are needed the most, including young women and girls, young people with disabilities, indigenous youth, refugee and migrant youth, queer youth, among others. As our world continues to veer fearfully off track from the 2030 Agenda, I hope that decision makers everywhere join me in recognizing these important contributions of young people everywhere, redoubling support and investments for youth-led initiatives. Today and every day, let us recommit to our collective vision of a more peaceful, sustainable, just and equal world in which all young people everywhere are supported, empowered, engaged and equipped to fulfill their potential. Thank you and once again, happy International Youth Day.